this is my Ulog 20 and I'm saying it with a U today. <laughs> Yesterday was a day to say it without. <laughs> today was really, really, really hot here. Uh, I know some of you live in areas where like above 100 degrees is normal, but here it is not. And we had well above 100 <laughs> and it was hot. But I kept the house cool by closing all the windows and closing all the curtains, not having any direct sunlight coming in. And then towards evening when it cooled off outside, I opened everything up again. And uh, yeah, so it's getting cooler inside again. It stayed pretty, pretty good. I was working in the yard until my body told me this it's a good time to stop now like do not finish this project <laughs> abort now <laughs> and I did I listened to my body and went and sat down and I I'm right now outside on my back veranda I don't know what's going on here and I've been drinking water all day long because yeah it's I was sweating and just now I took a shower <laughs> to get rid of all said um, dirt of the day so anyways I my dogs were inside where it was cool and I was outside and my neighbor's dog likes to get across the fence <laughs> so she was keeping me company actually last night around I don't know midnight my dog went crazy or both of them went crazy but one of them was outside and so I took my flashlight to look what's going on because I always get worried about the chickens if there's maybe a raccoon coming in or whatever and they she was like barking back there and the neighbor's dog was barking like crazy too <coughs> and I thought oh man there's this huge possum on top of the fence and I look and it's a dog up there. It's a six foot wood fence going to the neighbor in the back. And she is like balancing up there like a little ballerina. She is a, an American uh, bulldog, I think, or American boxer. No, I think bulldog. And she's pretty big, but she, she's like a little monkey climbing up there. So that was pretty funny. So speaking of chickens, so while I was working outside and you know I always make sure they have extra water and today I froze them a bunch of um, like a big bucket of ice so I could bring them ice somewhere in the middle of the day so they can peck on it and cool down and right now I'm the only person eating eggs and I give a lot of eggs away and I used to sell them uh, for money and then winter time comes and I don't do supplemental lighting so they lay less eggs and so I stopped and then I just didn't go through the effort of finding customers again and starting it all up again and I said hey why should I give all the eggs away let's sell them for steam so I just started my steam egg market business today and I did a post about it <laughs> I'm going to link to this you log so I don't expect a whole ton of customers. I don't know how many people live around here. And I'm selling them very cheap because uh, in dollars I was selling them for eight dollars and I really didn't want to sell them for less because A, that's a going price around here for eggs which are beyond organic. And B, it just, if one person goes down in price, then you undercut everybody else. And that's actually how much it costs me to feed them if I have to buy all their, their feed, which most of the time I do. I mean, I give them lots of greens from the yard and I'm raising mealworms right now for them and all of that. But it, it doesn't make sense to feed them for $8 and sell them for five. Then I'd rather give them as a gift to people I care about, if that makes sense. So anyways, but for my steam peeps, I'm willing to make it cheap. So I'm going to sell them for two steam a dozen or three SPD, which is a super good deal. If you ever had homegrown eggs of chickens, which get to move around and eat bugs and eat, you know, a big variety of things, you're never going to go back to store board. You know, even when it says free range eggs in the store, they're usually in 
big buildings they don't get to they have like a little door and a little green space that's all which is required and since they're usually spread inside they don't even know how to go out some might you know I'm not saying they're not ever but you're not going to get the kind of egg you get from a backyard farm where the chickens eat you know bugs I have a compost pile for them they can scratch in and eat also roly polies and I bring them literally wheelbarrow full of greens every day and so yeah that's my new egg business so if you live in the San Diego area become my customer yay <laughs> and that's it for today I'm tired my voice is not working and good night steam it or good morning <laughs> Or whatever generic happy generic time of the day whatever your time is take care